Well, thank you, Kelsey, uh, for coming on for Valley Advocate Sessions. It was thank a pleasure you. to have you perform today. Pleasure to play. Thank you for having me. Uh, first, I'd like to ask you uh, just about uh, kind of the, your influences. Uh, uh, I know you, you write like tend to write like a lot of dark songs mm -hmm. lyrically. Uh, uh, who do you draw inspiration from? Uh, lots of Tom Waits um, and uh, Towns Van Zant too. I think a little bit of Jenny Lewis. Um, this band, Holly Golightly, that writes really confusing, dark, but like kind of quirky stuff that I like a lot. And, uh, lots and lots of bluegrass. Yeah. And um, when did you get started uh, 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 writing and performing? Um, I. I've been playing music since I was not to any professional capacity, but I started playing the violin when I was nine. Um, I started, I got the guitar when I was 13, and I didn't start writing or performing with it till I was like 21, but um, I played with a band that basically only played in three places on the North Shore called um, the Black Country Banshees. We played like country punk, but I wanted to write darker, folkier stuff and weirder things and he didn't so so that was that yeah. can you tell us a little bit about the material that you performed today um I a lot of them buried wounds especially I sort of started out being like what's the most brutal thing I can write because people kept telling me that I was so cute and I was like did you listen to the word? whatever fine <laughs> it's adorable um so that one I wrote partially just really angry about him about this guy and then so I wrote that just to be as brutal as possible just to not get you're so cute at the end <laughs> uh, Cemetery Road is about um, my intergenerational and like class warfare kind of um, mostly about driving young people out of everything with like debt and uh, yeah, and, um, Neat Song and Psyche, just same thing, just very angry. A lot of bluegrass. I started writing them because in a lot of bluegrass, it was about these guys killing women for like dancing with another guy, or somebody looked at them, or just they were sad and they felt like it. And I'm like, that, and always women, always. And I was like, well, what happens to you guys? <laughs> you get cursed, you get chopped up, you get sentenced to hell right with her. Like, so, yeah, that's kind of where I started writing all of those. Just, just intense, got sick of, yeah. Intense but awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Murderous men, got to be held accountable. <laughs> yeah, I'm with that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I, I know, did you release a record this year? I did. I released an EP in August. Um, I'm going to order the physical copies on Friday. Uh, but, yeah, so I released an EP in August. And uh, do you have any upcoming performances for late November? Late November, no. Um, December 21st at 13th floor. So I, I don't know who else is on the bill yet. Um, but yeah, so 13th floor in Florence I'm playing. That's December 21st, but nothing quite yet. Um, I tend to get thrown on things where they're just like, hey, we don't know where to put you, but do you want to be on this jazz folk bill? I'm like, OK. <laughs> So possibly New Haven on the 26th. So I'm not sure. It tends to be very last minute with me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, performing for us today. Yeah, it was thank an you absolute for having pleasure. me. Thank you.